to the other top focus and this remains a continuing focus on Iraq and the crisis. The internationals who were kidnapped in Mosul in Iraq are alive. That's the big message that's been conveyed to India. Sources have told us uh, that the 40 Indians are alive. They've been kidnapped, but they are alive and their location is not yet known. CNN IBN, in fact, has accessed some of their pictures. These are the last images that were sent to their families. After that, all communication has been lost with them. Most of those abducted by ISIS are construction workers from Punjab. Their families are going to meet the external affairs minister in Delhi to help secure their release. Sushma Swaraj says that the government is sparing no effort to ensure their safe return. We do know that relatives are meeting uh, external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj who has promised that the government will do everything it can uh, to bring back our citizens from Iraq. Uh, having said that, uh, there is a, certainly a sense uh, that, that, that no one wants to press the panic button right now and that that is the information we're getting uh, from people who are talking to people in Iraq. Uh, the ambassador there in Iraq not speaking to us but we did speak to former minister of state uh, E. Ahmed uh, who, who said that he was explaining the situation to him uh, of the 20,000 uh, odd Ira uh, Indians there in Iraq. The concern really is uh, again centered around Mosul and Tikrit. Uh, others though trying to leave uh, and are getting safe passage through Baghdad and Erbil airports as we've been reporting. Uh, the nurses in Tiktok, the, the good news is that they're safe uh, and that uh, continues to be the situation. Some of them uh, in fact are looking to leave but right now road transport isn't uh, the safest. Uh, so he was also telling us uh, that uh, that it's time to wait and watch the Indian government and this is what uh, E.M. was telling us uh, does need to be careful also and move cautiously and diplomatically right now because India does not want to get uh, caught in the middle of this Shia uh, and Sunni sectarian crisis.